Since 1912, Marine Corps aviation has supported troops on the ground. Although Marine aircraft have changed over time, the logistical and combat support they provide today remains invaluable. Even though we are an attack aircraft, a lot of times just us being overhead provides a lot of reassurance and uh, confidence to some of the people on the ground, especially, uh, especially the Marines. So uh, no matter what we're tasked to do, we're, we're always very eager to be out there supporting um, those infantry units and then some of the other, uh, other units that are out there side by side. During Operation Mosh Tarak in southern Afghanistan, AV-8B Harrier IIs from Marine Attack Squadron 231 provided close air support to the Marines on the ground. The Cherry Point, North Carolina-based squadron used the Harrier for its ability to take off and land on short runways. The fight down in Marja that we're involved in right now, when we started that thing on February 13th, that runway was only 4,000 feet long. And there's only one jet in the entire world, combat jet that can take off and land from a strip that's that short, and that's the Harrier. MV-22 Ospreys from Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron 263 also lent their support by bringing troops to the fight. The Osprey proves its value by flying faster and farther than traditional helicopters. Uh, you can get from point A to point B in about half the time. Uh, you can generally carry as much or, or more people and stuff as, uh, as our legacy helicopters that we replaced. Uh, so in general, everything gets a lot smaller. In the past, the Taliban have used Marja as a stronghold and forced its citizens into the opium trade. Now with the help of Marines both on the ground and in the air, the people of Marja have reclaimed their city and are free of Taliban control. From Washington, I'm Lance Corporal Nicholas Neighbors.